Praise the Lord. According to one year Bible reading plan day 25, we have Exodus chapters 32 to 34. Exodus chapter 32. When the people saw that Moses had not come down from the mountain, but was staying there a long time, they gathered around Aaron and said to him, We do not know what has happened to this man Moses, who led us out of Egypt. So make us a god to lead us. Aaron said to them, Take off the gold earrings which your wives, your sons and your daughters are wearing and bring them to me. So all the people took off their gold earrings and brought them to Aaron. He took the earrings, melted them and poured the gold into a mold and made a gold bull calf. The people said, Israel, this is our God. who led us out of Egypt then Aaron built an altar in front of the gold bull calf and announced tomorrow there will be a festival to honor the lord early the next morning they brought some animals to burn as sacrifices and others to eat as fellowship offerings the people sat down to a feast which turned into an orgy of drinking and sex the lord said to moses Hurry and go back down because your people whom you led out of Egypt have sinned and rejected me. They have already left the way that I commanded them to follow. They have made a bull calf out of melted gold and have worshiped it and offered sacrifices to it. They are saying that this is their god who led them out of Egypt. I know how stubborn these people are. Now don't try to stop me. I am angry with them and I am going to destroy them. Then I will make you and your descendants into a great nation. But Moses pleaded with the Lord, his God, and said, "Lord, why should you be so angry with your people, whom you rescued from Egypt with great might and power? Why should the Egyptians be able to say that you led your people out of Egypt?" planning to kill them in the mountains and destroy them completely stop being angry change your mind and do not bring this disaster on your people remember your servants abraham isaac and jacob remember the solemn promise you made to them to give them as many descendants as there are stars in the sky and give their descendants all that land you promised would be their possession forever So the Lord changed his mind and did not bring on his people the disaster he had threatened. Moses went back down the mountain, carrying the two stone tablets with the commandments written on both sides. God himself had made the tablets and had engraved the commandments on them. Joshua heard the people shouting and said to Moses, "I hear the sound of battle in the camp." Moses said, That doesn't sound like a shout of victory or a cry of defeat. It's the sound of singing. When Moses came close enough to the camp to see the bull calf and to see the people dancing, he became furious. There, at the foot of the mountain, he threw down the tablets he was carrying and broke them. He took the bull calf which they had made, melted it, ground it into fine powder, and mixed it with water. Then he made the people of Israel drink it. He said to Aaron, "What did these people do to you that you have made them commit such a terrible sin?" Aaron said, "Don't be angry with me. You know how determined these people are to do evil." He said to me, "We don't know what has happened to this man Moses who brought us out of Egypt. So make us a god to lead us." I asked them to bring their gold ornaments, and those who had any took them off and gave them to me. I threw the ornaments into the fire, and out came this bull calf. Moses saw that Aaron had let the people get out of control and make fools of themselves in front of their enemies. So he stood at the gate of the camp and shouted, "Everyone who is on the Lord's side, come over here!" So all the Levites gathered around him, and he said to them, "The Lord God of Israel commands every one of you to put on your sword and go through the camp from this gate to the other and kill your brothers, your friends, and your neighbors." 
the Levites obeyed and killed about 3,000 men that day. Moses said to the Levites, Today you have consecrated yourselves as priests in the service of the Lord by killing your sons and brothers. So the Lord has given you his blessing. The next day, Moses said to the people, You have committed a terrible sin. But now I will again go up the mountain to the Lord. Perhaps I can obtain forgiveness for your sin. Moses then returned to the Lord and said, These people have committed a terrible sin. They have made a god out of gold and worshipped it. Please forgive the sin. But if you won't, then remove my name from the book in which you have written the names of your people. The Lord answered, It is those who have sinned against me whose names I will remove from my book. Now go, lead the people to the place I told you about. Remember that my angel will guide you. But the time is coming when I will punish these people for their sin. So the Lord sent a disease on the people, because they had caused Aaron to make the golden bull calf. Exodus chapter 33 The Lord said to Moses, Leave this place, you and the people you brought out of Egypt, and go to the land that I promised to give to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and to their descendants. I will send an angel to guide you, and I will drive out the Canaanites, the Amorites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. You are going to a rich and fertile land, but I will not go with you myself, because you are a stubborn people, and I might destroy you on the way. When the people heard this, they began to mourn and did not wear jewelry any more. For the Lord had commanded Moses to tell them, You are stubborn people. If I were to go with you even for a moment, I would completely destroy you. Now take off your jewelry, and I will decide what to do with you. So after they left Mount Sinai, the people of Israel no longer wore jewelry. Whenever the people of Israel set up camp, Moses would take the sacred tent and put it up some distance around the camp. It was called the tent of the Lord's presence, and anyone who wanted to counsel the Lord would go out of it. Whenever Moses went out there, the people would stand at the door of their tents and watch Moses until he entered it. After Moses had gone in, the pillar of cloud would come down and stay at the door of the tent, and the Lord would speak to Moses from the cloud. As soon as the people saw the pillar of cloud at the door of the tent, they would bow down. The Lord would speak with Moses face to face, just as someone speaks with a friend. Then Moses would return to the camp. But the young man who was his helper, Joshua, son of Nun, stayed in the tent. Moses said to the Lord, It is true that you have told me to lead these people to that land, but you did not tell me whom you would send with me. You have said that you know me well and are pleased with me. Now, if you are, tell me your plans so that I may serve you and continue to please you. Remember also that you have chosen this nation to be your own. The Lord said, I will go with you, and I will give you victory. Moses replied, If you do not go with us, don't make us leave this place. How will anyone know that you are pleased with your people and me? If you do not go with us, your presence with us will distinguish us from any other people on earth. The Lord said to Moses, I will do just as you have asked, because I know you very well, and I am pleased with you. Then Moses requested, Please, let me see the dazzling light of your presence. The Lord answered, I will make all my splendor pass before you, and in your presence I will pronounce my sacred name. I am the Lord, and I show compassion and pity on those I choose. I will not let you see my face, because no one can see me and stay alive. But... Here is a place beside me where you can stand on a rock. When the dazzling light of my presence passes by, I will put you in an opening in the rock, 
and cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will take my hand away and you will see my back but not my face. Exodus chapter 34 The Lord said to Moses, Cut two stone tablets like the first ones, and I will write on them the words that were on the first tablets which you broke. Get ready tomorrow morning and come up Mount Sinai to meet me there at the top. No one is to come up with you. No one is to be seen on any part of the mountain, and no sheep or cattle are to graze at the foot of the mountain. So Moses cut two more stone tablets, and early the next morning, he carried them up Mount Sinai, just as the Lord had commanded. The Lord came down in a cloud, stood with him there, and pronounced his holy name, the Lord. The Lord then passed in front of him and called out, I, the Lord, am a God who is full of compassion and pity, who is not easily angered, and who shows great love and faithfulness. I keep my promise for thousands of generations and forgive evil and sin, but I will not fail to punish children and grandchildren to the third and fourth generation for the sins of their parents. Moses quickly bowed down to the ground and worshipped. He said, Lord, if you really are pleased with me, I ask you to go with us. These people are stubborn, but forgive our evil and our sin and accept us as your own people. The Lord said to Moses, I now make a covenant with the people of Israel. In their presence I will do great things, such as have never been done anywhere on earth among any of the nations. All the people will see what great things I, the Lord, can do, because I am going to do an awesome thing for you. Obey the laws that I am giving you today. I will drive out the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Hivites and the Jebusites as you advance. Do not make any treaties with the people of the country into which you are going, because this could be a fatal trap for you. Instead, tear down their altars, destroy their sacred pillars, and cut down their symbols of the goddess Asherah. Do not worship any other god because I, the Lord, tolerate no rivals. Do not make any treaties with the people of the country, because when they worship their pagan gods and sacrifice to them, they will invite you to join them, and you will be tempted to eat the food they offer to their gods. Your sons might marry those foreign women, who would leave them to be unfaithful to me and worship their pagan gods. Do not make gods of metal and worship them. Keep the festival of unleavened bread, as I have commanded you. Eat unleavened bread for seven days in the month of Abib, because it was in that month that you left Egypt. Every firstborn son and firstborn male domestic animal belongs to me, but you are to buy back every firstborn donkey by offering a lamb in its place. If you do not buy it back, break its neck. Buy back every firstborn son. No one is to appear before me without an offering. You have six days in which to do your work, but do not work on the seventh day, not even during plowing time of harvest. Keep the harvest festival when you begin to harvest the first crop of your wheat, and keep the festival of shelters in the autumn when you gather your fruit three times a year. All of your men must come to worship me, the Lord, the God of Israel, after I have driven out the nations before you and extended your territory. No one will try to conquer your country during these three festivals. Do not offer bread meat with yeast when you sacrifice an animal to me. Do not keep until the following morning any part of the animal killed at the Passover festival. Each year bring to the house of the Lord the first grain that you harvest, do not cook a young sheep or goat in its mother's milk. The Lord said to Moses, Write these words down, because it is on the basis of these words that I am making a covenant with you and with Israel. Moses stayed there with the Lord forty days and nights, 
eating and drinking nothing. He wrote on the tablets the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. When Moses went down from Mount Sinai, carrying the Ten Commandments, his face was shining because he had been speaking with the Lord, but he did not know it. Aaron and all the people looked at Moses and saw that his face was shining, and they were afraid to go near him. But Moses called them, and Aaron and all the leaders of the community went to him, and Moses spoke with them. After that, all the people of Israel gathered around him, and Moses gave them all the laws that the Lord had given him on Mount Sinai. When Moses had finished speaking with them, he covered his face with a veil. Whenever Moses went into the tent of the Lord's presence to speak to the Lord, he would take the veil off. When he came out, he would tell the people of Israel everything that he had been commanded to say, and they would see that his face was shining. Then he would put the veil back on until the next time he went to speak with the Lord. May the Lord bless us abundantly. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.